into the Marvel Universe now. Uh, yeah. So, uh, please give a nice warm Philadelphia welcome to two of the members of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. You and Ian, and you would take Ian. You, Ian, and Elizabeth, I think, would have. Uh, we'd have yeah. a little bit. Jeff, you have to pick one, and you would pick Ian. No, it wasn't. Was it one? It's one. Oh. Okay, if you had to pick 12 people. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of question? Yeah, you would pick Ian, and you know it. <laughs> Only because I can't pick you. You can pick me. She said, besides. Oh. Yeah. oh because I, I didn't want it to be like the cute thing of like, now pick you. Right. So go ahead, do yours. I don't even know. I feel like I've done this and I feel like Clark was my yeah. Guy, yeah that'd be guy, so. I also feel like he, I don't know why. I, I think Agent Phil calls in your cat. Yeah, <laughs> you can take him, he'd love it. It's like a giant litter box at Big Beach. All right, great. Um, and everything. Were there any moments when you were reading the script that your jaw kind of dropped? Um, yeah. Um, sorry if I I literally can't see anything. If there's a house lights, there's up, one like, turn it. giant blinding like, light. So if I've met you guys and I'm not referencing it, it's because I actually can't see your faces. Um, was there? I think the most dramatic was definitely. Oh, Thank oh, you. Ask a shopper. Wow. Uh, and some moody. And moody. <laughs> You're like, and it's a little okay. <laughs> um, definitely the most dramatic was season. One when we were shooting at this like racetrack and all the producers were like everybody needs to meet in this in somebody's trailer during lunch and we chose Elizabeth's trailer because it was the cleanest and we all like were in there and they like brought out these red pages and um, they were like Ward is going to turn to Hydra and if, you, if that's a spoiler then you wouldn't be sorry. Here. No, don't feel bad for them if that was a spoiler. That was so dramatic. That's a spoiler. What are you doing at this talk? <laughs> that was so dramatic and like the way that the producers were around. Maybe it was because it was like the first season and everyone cared more, but we, that was definitely the most dramatic. But there was a lot. And I was like, how did, he was like, oh, they're just guessing in the dark. They don't actually know. 
And I was like, okay, yeah. So that, so that was that was shocking. Yeah, great. big surprise. Yes. Big, great big question. Great. Um, like an an old one. Is Wanda an Avenger? Yeah. She can't be. Because I, I think mean, so. I mean, I'm just gonna go hot guy. Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Great. Is he still in it? Is he still in it? Yeah. I don't care. Yeah, we finished the show and I was like, I can't watch anymore. You don't want to? No? No, actually I completely forgot that he was a Fitzsimmons until just now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll be honest, when I ask folks questions or you all get questions, the fans are going to know so much more than you will ever know. Truly. And you did it. Yeah. But it's like, you all have to remember, they did it once, you watched it 7,000 times. <laughs> The thing is, is that there's a, um, I recently, like a year ago, there's a YouTube video that it's like a fan edit of like my entire character arc on the show. And it was like an hour and something long, shout out to whoever made it. Um, and I watched the whole thing and was shocked. I was like, what? oh my God, like I didn't remember anything. Wow. And it was cool. I was like, this the show looks cool. It is a very cool show. That's why they're here. Uh, we'll go back over to this side. You're here with a lemon tattoo. Oh. That was uh, amazing yes. on their wrist, and it was it was so lovely because I it really it was so sweet. When did I fall in love with Daisy? I don't know if I. I I think she goes on such like an emotional journey throughout the show, and I think so much of that paralleled. Uh, I think my like inner turmoil as a young actress and trying to just, uh, I don't know. Oh, I hated that. <laughs> I hated that one. Yeah, the wires, we had an anti-gravity fight. Honestly, if you look at it, we didn't get the like physics right. Stuff was not, my hair was not, it was, maybe don't watch that. Um, the f most fun was the, the season four car chase. I got to like ride on top of a car downtown LA for a long time. The hardest, one of the last episode ever, that fight was really hard. Uh, there's a one-shot fight sequence that I shot, that, that was, we did that a couple times. That one sucked. It was, I broke my arm during that one, so that hurt. I did, yeah. But they were all fun eventually. Oh, the elevator scene yes. with the blue aliens and the lemons. Yes. Ah. Yeah. Fun one, I like that one. That took 20 hours to shoot. Did it? Two units came. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. But that one was really fun, and it's those were real lemons, and it smelled like lemon, so that was nice. That's kind of nice, a little yeah. citrus ambiance. Yeah, What's your good. Jeff question? Um, I was just going to ask, um, you made your directorial debut on stage recently, so Woo! I was just like, yay! Yeah. Um, so I just wanted to ask if there were, what were the challenges kind of shifting to that medium after doing like TV and stuff like that? Uh, um, that's so nice of you to ask. I. Um, it, I I, uh, I, can, I started in, in plays and, and in theater, and I directed a play, is what she's referring to, and... Um, so good, you guys, he's so talented. Thank you. And, uh, and it, it was, um, it, it is very, very different, um, and really um, a, it's a different challenge than... On our mission to Australia, we hacked a military satellite network. Using that, we ran a multi-spectral topographic scan of the Earth, running miles deep throughout the oceanic crust. Oh! Yeah. There are like orange yeah. It like goes on, but I had to memorize it for literally this. In second. Australia? In Australia. A military satellite network in Australia. Yeah, it was so hard to like remember. I was so nervous because I also had to do like things where I was like taking microchips and like doing in front of everyone. It was horrifying, but. I remember that one, you know? <laughs> that was wow. check, check and see if that's like part yeah. of it. And where you didn't know which one was which. Yeah. It was a good scene. They're definitely directly correlated to like where we shot. Like the afterlife was fun because that was in Malibu. That was, uh, we were in Malibu. I like that. Not a deep reason, but honestly, <laughs> all our stuff was fun. Yes. It was fun to work together. Yes. Especially in the beginning because we got to do so much together. And it was a fun dynamic between their characters. Yeah. With a bunch of prosthetics and stuff. I've always wanted to do something like that, so that's a very big one. Um, and, and since I've been doing that for a while, I am with Chloe, I want to do something where I just like sit and eat tacos. Yeah. 
just to have a conversation. Honestly, like eating on camera is fun because we didn't do that on Shield. Ever. Any, ever. any way that I could casually love something eating on... in scenes. And people could have just pulled up Brad Pitt. Well, that's the thing. It's because when you're when you're, he, I mean, it's you can't. It's like it's so hard because he's the quintessential. Yeah. Like he's the eating guy, but he's so he's so cool when he eats. I, I look that cool when I eat. I would eat and everything too. It's that jaw, but maybe. I love that one too. It's so good. I think that is probably my favorite. Like, I think we, talk, we talked about this earlier, did we not? We did, we were here, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, what, what was your favorite? Jen directed that one. I, th that I wasn't in that one for sure. Oh. I love that's that. That's why it was my favorite. You weren't in it? You weren't in that episode? No, I wasn't there yet. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. You, oh yeah, sorry. Just I don't even remember a world post Jeff. Pre Jeff. <laughs> Whatever. Keep going. What were we saying? Jeff, did you have a favorite episode from Yeah, I love I, I really have a particular affinity for when Henry Mac and Deke get stuck in the eighties. <laughs> yes. I really love that one and I it's one of my favorite parts of that episode is when Deke keeps coming to visit Mac's apartment and like is just kind of bringing him groceries and just desperately wants to be his friend. That's so cute. It's very funny. It's and Henry was Henry is an underrated comedic actor because he is. He's the funniest funnier. person. He's one very of the funny guy. He, and you'll never got a deadpan that is just like incredible. So brilliant, so handsome, so kind, so I True. Just so tall. So tall. Dreaming. Absolutely dreaming. So so dream. tall. But I think What a smile too, yeah. you know. Uh, oh, yeah, cool where is Henry? Commercial. Yeah, that, that I think I'll probably send this conversation to both Clark and Henry now because it's never, we're just pandering at yeah. this point. <laughs> I'll go to this side. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Tim. Hi Tim. Oh. Do you hope that impact is when people think about the legacy of the show? Oh, I mean, it, it's it's really something that is just so special in person to like have people come up and because it's something that you you know we navigated on the show and that trickles down from Marissa Tantrone who you know when there is you know when there's diversity behind the camera it kind of organically manifests its way onto screen which is why having people in the industry telling stories off camera is just as important as having you know diversity on screen. You don't really want like an empty kind of someone who's you're like an like an ethnic hire because they think it's trendy. Like you can feel when people do that and you can feel when it's authentic. So it was obviously very authentic for the show and um, I just love that they organically weaved in being half Asian and you know getting to have that whole storyline. Oh, with my family was sick. Sorry, there's so many, so many. <laughs> Someone now was like, forget it. <laughs> that was such oh my God. It was perfect. But yeah, I mean, even meeting like you this morning and it, that has been the most impactful part of the show for sure. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Uh, and because uh, it was like props. So they made a real looking license plate, California. Right. And it said B-A-L-Z. Yeah. And so that was played on me, but it was epic. Amazing. Uh, I'll go over here. Rapid fire. Go. Would you be, if you could be in any other show, what would it be? Yes. Marvel show? In general. In general. Oh, oh my god. Uh, um. Peaky Blinders. <laughs> oh, good one. The Wire. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Rapid fire. Go. Did your, did your character stories and how you dreamed that they would? No. No. <laughs> Thank you so much. Go! For the chance, would you come back to the MCU? <gasps> yeah, they won't offer it, but I'm sure that would be cool. Yes. <laughs> Great! You, go! Uh, so, uh, many... Oh, let me step back. So many, uh, years ago, you voiced... This is a rapid-fire portion of our questions! Sorry, sorry. Uh, uh Claude, Claude, you voiced a, uh, parrot on the show. Do you, uh, do you actually remember that on the kids show? No. I voiced a parrot? Yes. It was called the Jake. Is it yes, Jake? Yes, yes, yes. Jake. That was the character's name? No, no, that's the show. The show. You know what? I was doing that while I was shooting Shield, and I don't remember. <laughs> a cool memory. I remember it now. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Rapid fire, go! Uh, Chloe, what was it like working with Kyle McLaughlin as Daisy's dad? So fun, so cool. He's so Good question. Such a great question. Yeah. 
I, um, that scene where he was like, July, was that really second? Where he says that whole really sweet thing about the best day. That was like the sweet, we were sobbing, we were sobbing. That's how they actually didn't use that take, which I was a little bit at, but yeah, he was great. So Thank iconic. You. We did it, that's the rapid fire portion. I'm Lexi, uh, hi Chloe. Hi, good to hi. see you again. Good to see you again, nice to meet you, Jeff. Nice to meet you, Lexi. Sorry, I'm just an eager beaver, I'm just like. <gasps> oh yeah, I get it. Oh, I'm an eager beaver. Uh, and my question is for you, Chloe. Um, what was your favorite season? I know it's like a very broad question, but yeah. I would love to know whether to film or just in general. And do you have a favorite moment? Um, I do. I think my uh, season four, I think, is the best. I think the writers shine season four. I think they broke it up into the Ghost Rider, LMD, and then framework pods really well that felt like the most organized and um, so I loved shooting that because it felt different. I think weirdly as much as we had a lot of fun so season five was really fun because uh, Jeff was there but if Jeff wasn't there I probably would have absolutely hated that season because we were in the same like tunnel go back and watch the shows we're like walking down the same hallway over and over again you'll see we just changed there's three hallways. There's literally three hallways and we would just cut and just walk the same scene. So that felt like, my mom didn't even watch that season. She's like, I just can't get through it. It was just like so dark. And I was like, yeah, imagine shooting that. Um, but it was fun because we had Jeff, the bright light. <laughs> the bright light in those three dark hallways. Yes. I feel bad. Do you guys want to ask one collective question? One collective question. Or like rapid or fire. Or rapid fire. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. See you later. Great. So just. Um, lightning round? Really lightning round. Ask the fastest question you've ever asked in your life. Day. Favorite practical joke on set. Favorite practical joke. Um, Ian and the prop department season two or one changed my license plate to say balls deep. Uh, <laughs> on the front license plate. And I drove around with that for months. Uh, and because uh, it was like props. So they made a real looking license plate. California. Right. And it said B-A-L-Z. Yeah. yeah. So that was played on me, but it was epic. Amazing. Uh, I'll go over here. Rapid fire. Go. Can you be to wrap it up? Fill